Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about coaching mode and how to get that set up. So have you ever wanted to teach your buddy how to fly your Evo? Or have you ever wanted to go ahead and just focus on flying and have someone else focus on the camera? Well now you can do that. With the 1.3.46 firmware update, we've actually added a mode called coaching mode. It's gonna allow you to pair up a couple of different Evo controllers to one Evo. That way one person is the student controller and the other person is the teacher controller. The teacher controller is essentially gonna have control over everything whenever needed, while the student controller can focus on different aspects of either learning or just the gimbal itself. Now we're gonna go ahead and show you how to set that up. So the first step is we want to make sure that we've gone ahead and done that 1.3.46 firmware update. And you can either do that over the air via the Explorer app on whatever mobile device you're running it on, or you can also head to our website autodrones.com and you can download that file in the support section. After we've gone ahead and done that, we're going to go ahead and make sure that our primary controller, so the one that you intend to be the teacher controller, is already correctly paired to Evo. After that, we can then move on to the second controller where you're gonna go ahead and do those matching instructions from there. What you're gonna go ahead and do is you're gonna hold down the power button, the go home button, and then this little A button right here on the back, all at the same time. And then after you've gone ahead and done that, the screen should say matching. Once you see that matching screen, you're gonna go ahead and head to the back of Evo, pop open that little tab below the battery power button, and then you're gonna hold down that green light button and then it's gonna start flashing a very quick green. All of the controllers will then disconnect for a few seconds and reconnect, and we can then check that there is a small icon on the secondary controller right next to the signal strength. It should be a little human icon, and now everything should be all set to go. So now that you are in coaching mode, what can you do with it? What are some of the advantages of it? You know, what's the point? Um, so as I mentioned earlier, you can teach a, a whole new person how to fly EVO. So if they've never flown a drone, if they've never flown EVO specifically, you're now able to do that. As the teacher, the primary controller, you can automatically cancel out whatever stick inputs they're doing. If you find that they're doing something maybe a little bit unsafe, a little bit dangerous, or if you just want to go ahead and show them first how to do that. And that way they can follow along. Another advantage is if you want to go ahead and do a, you know, some sort of photo shoot, whether that's video or photo, you can always just be the primary pilot. So you can actually be doing all the flight controls, all the flight maneuvers, and you can have the other person be worrying about the gimbal tilt. So if you want to go ahead and get some more dynamic shots, you want to get some different angles, they can completely focus on that while you're focusing on really getting that movement in your shots. If you need a quick reminder on how to set up coaching mode, there is some quick reference material under the remote control settings in your Explorer app. Thank you guys for watching, learning a little bit more about coaching mode. Uh, let us know in the comments section below if, if you liked the video, what you liked about it, how you're going to use it, as well as whatever other features you guys want to learn about, what you want to hear from us. And always remember, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, go ahead and follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. That's the best way to keep up to date on all news Vautel Robotics.